After creating the last video series about the X-Window system, I realized there were a few things I left off that I would like to come back and mention. So I'm creating this last video, well, perhaps the last video, as a uh, follow-up to, to the first five. Let's get started. One thing I left, uh, left out describing in the first video series is the concept of window layering. When you have multiple windows open, there's no way to address those windows if you don't have a window manager running, and I'd like to illustrate this concept. First, I'm going to start AbbeyWord. Now you can see I've got AbbeyWord running. If I bring the mouse cursor over top of this window, the window becomes active, and I can type inside the window. Type, type, type. And I can use the program Abby Word just like uh, you know, just like normal. Highlight the text so you can see what I typed there, which wasn't anything too terribly interesting. But suppose I start another program. I have to move the mouse back down over top of the black box that you see in the bottom, which is my X terminal. And from there, I can type in the name of another program to start up. Let's just say I want to start LeafPad. As you can see, when I start LeafPad, it completely covers up the other program. It completely covers up AbbeyWord. So how do I access AbbeyWord? Well, the answer is I can't. Because, because there's no window manager running, I can't get behind this window that's up here in the front. Um, there's, no, there's no way I can move this window. There's no way to resize it. There's, so there, I have no way to get it out of the way. The only thing I can do is close this program out in order to get back to Abbey Word. So, but I can use this program as long as I've got the mouse cursor inside of the inside of the window box. So, you know, I can sit here and type, and you can see the text going in, blah 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 blah. So, I can use the program. I just can't use any other program while this while this program is covering up the other ones. So, the only thing I can do: file, quit. Do I want to save my changes? No, of course not. And now I'm back to the Abbey Word program, which was behind it. So like I said, that concept was just something I wanted to make sure I pointed out in this little follow-up segment. Another thing I would like to mention is whenever I started programs in the last video set, I was always starting them in the corners of the screen. That was just simply for the sake of simplicity, uh, using negative zero, negative zero, or plus zero, plus zero. You can, however, start programs at any arbitrary spot on the screen just by using the appropriate geometry Suppose I wanted to start xcalc and I wanted it to be somewhere out in the middle of the screen. I can type xcalc space hyphen geometry, and then by providing the coordinates I want, I can start xcalc out here in you know towards the center of the screen, or it's kind of in the upper left. But nevertheless, it's out of the corner. It's not running in the corner like it was, like all the programs were in the first series. And the same thing if I want to start you know, another program, let's just say xEdit, you know, I can, I, I too can start that at some other position on the screen. So the thing to realize here is you don't have to have a window manager running to, to, to be able to do a whole lot with the system. I would be, I, I could, you know, using geometry, specify that I want the calculator like up here in the upper right corner, you know, more or less in the right corner. I can start xEdit down here. And I can have an X terminal over here. I, you know, I can really uh, get things out of the way. Basically, let me close out Abby Word here, so you can kind of get a better idea. Um, you know, I've got the calculator up here. I can use it. All I got to do is when the mouse is over it, it has focus because, as I mentioned before in the last video, when when there's no window manager running, you have sloppy focus access to your program. So all I have to do to address the calculator is just make sure the mouse is over top of it. If I then want to use XEdit, I can just put the mouse within its window frame and, you know, type away. I, you know, I don't really know how well you can see those words, but but I am able to do that. Now this is an interesting concept because there's a whole lot that you can do without a window manager. For example, you know, I don't really think having the X window system on a server is necessary. In fact, on any server I ever set up, I refuse to install it. But if you absolutely had to have, you know, the graphical environment, you could install just the X window system core and not install like KDE or GNOME or any of those enormous window management, desktop management systems. You wouldn't need GTK2 libraries or QT libraries or any of that. You could just install the X window system core and then by editing your 
X in an RC file, you could have it at, you could have the X window system start up and place different programs at different places on the screen and have an extremely functional X window system. You know, like let's say I needed to start another terminal, I can type X term space geometry, we'll say minus zero plus zero. You know, now I have two X terms up here on the on the one above I can type in say top and then have a list of the processes running and then down here at the bottom I still have full use of this X term session. I can start up another one if I wanted to. I could type X term, you know, geometry plus zero minus zero to put it in the other corner. Now I have three X terms. But anyway the point here is without a window manager, you know, I can have you know the process list up here. I can have a regular terminal down here to type in. I have X edit here, which I could use to type text into. Although currently, since this terminal over here is covering it up, it wouldn't do me a lot of good. So I could quit that, and then say X edit space geometry, and then um, we'll say 400 pixels wide by 200 pixels tall, and then we'll put it 200 pixels from the top of the screen and 200 pixels from the right of the screen. And then you can see now I've got this text box here and I can kill xcalc to get it out of the way. So now I've got xedit up here if I need to type notes in for whatever reason, if I just want to even copy paste because that still works if I highlight text out of the bottom terminal down here and I write, or excuse me, I center click into uh, into the xedit window here, I can, you know, I still have the ability to copy paste because that's part of the window manager, or excuse me, that's part of the X window system itself. So without a window manager running, I have all I have three different terminals that I can use. I have X edit running, and if I needed to start X calc or any other type of program, I could type it, type in the name with the appropriate geometry setting, and then get it on a position on the screen away from the other windows so they're not covering each other up. And, and then I have a, a very functional system, you know, and that was the, that was the main thing I wanted to point out. Uh, one more thing I'll mention, though, in this set is uh, virtual desktops. That's controlled either by the window manager itself or by another program. Without another program running or without a window manager, you don't have virtual desktops. So to close out this new video edition, I just want to reiterate window layering, stacking, whatever you want to call it, that's controlled by the window manager. So if you have two windows over top of each other, you have no way to bring the window behind to the front. And you can specify window locations with the geometry setting and they don't have to be in the corner. As you can see again here with the X edit program that's not in the corner. And finally, virtual desktops are also something that is handled either by the window manager or by a pager or by some other program. The, the, the concept of virtual desktops is integrated into the X window system. You just don't have any way to control the virtual desktops without some other program running like the window manager. And that's it for this video. Maybe I'll make another one. Maybe not.